Hey guys, it's Colossus Fitness. We're back at our golden spot for having these overview of muscle groups. So we run a series where we break down a muscle group by its muscle bellies and we kind of show you different ways to work it, different ways to incorporate it and how it affects your body overall and your body structure and body composition. Yeah, so we're gonna go into breaking it down. Like Josh said, we're gonna hit the upper chest, the lower chest, go over some strength and then here's our tip video. Um, we're just gonna go over the tips for that we have in general for you guys. Not so much just the, the exercise tips because you guys can find those in the videos down below, but we're gonna talk about the general training tips. Three videos have already been filmed. Three for the big W. <laughs> so <laughs> three for the win, baby. All right, so three videos have already been filmed. They're good to go. Check them out. They've been up. Hopefully you've seen them. If you're a good fan, you've watched them three times. You've learned. I know we got a lot upper, of you. That upper, lower, yeah. and strength portion of your chest. Strength is not a muscle. We're gonna go ahead and say that now. We felt it was only appropriate to throw that in for bench. A lot of you have to do one rep max hack, one rep max testing as far as your sports go. So we really wanted to incorporate that. Going up, going into that, let's just get right into it, guys. Right into the upper chest. That's where we're going to start because that is the first chest video we put out for you guys. And that's the first thing you should be working. When you're new, biggest problem, it's neglected, okay? Everyone comes out, they're new, they're new to working out. They go, they hit the bench press for 30 sets of one. Bench 225 for the first time with a, a curl spot with yeah. their bros. They'll hit flat bench, that flat was bench, us. flat bench. We were cool. We've been there. We were in there repping 185. Weighing 120. Yeah. No, we're kidding, but <laughs> we were like that, straight up. Hush hush. But so number one, angling. How are you gonna work that upper chest if you don't know how to? There isn't too many upper chest magical exercises. However, there are ways to angle your different exercises. You want to work your upper chest doing a bench press, you're gonna accomplish that by doing an incline bench press. How does that work? Diagonal, 45 degrees, that's your boy. 45 degrees brings out that upper chest. Mm -hmm. By doing that, you're forcing yourself upwards, you're on that incline, and you're pushing up as opposed to pushing out. Pushing up is gonna allow you to get that crazy contraction, get that creasing going on in your chest that you all want. Same thing goes with dumbbells. You're just gonna increase and change your angling. You can modify it. Kyle's gonna talk more about it in a different segment. I'm just gonna move on from there. So, when it comes to hitting your upper chest, a lot of you guys know that you may be able to hit it by doing a lot of um, anterior delt exercises. Uh, for your for your shoulders. We do have a bunch of videos down below. Um, I guess I'll touch on it now when it yeah, comes go to for it. Yeah, when it comes to we do it for the fans. Yeah, when it comes to hitting your shoulders. One thing guys, make sure you do not neglect your shoulders. You don't want to be hunched over like this. You don't want to look like that and have a huge chest. You, you want to make sure you need, you need some strong shoulders as well to uh, and, and which also leads to you being able to work your upper chest. Absolutely. Huge point, if you're pushing up, you're working that shoulder, mm -hmm. don't wanna miss it. Yeah, like when I'm doing like in, when I'm doing like push press or something, I feel it in my upper chest like crazy. Upper chest, point number three is contraction. I cannot stress this enough. Contraction with upper chest is nuts. Like lower chest, you can get away just growing out some big reps, but upper chest, you gotta be in there and you gotta know what you're squeezing. Even though I'm doing upper chest exercise, I can squeeze the wrong part of my chest. Knowing what you're squeezing is huge. You wanna be up here, Kyle made a great point in one of the videos of squeezing your elbows. Genius point, I'm so thankful he showed it to me. You're up here, you're thinking up, and you're squeezing your upper chest with your elbows. And you wanna make sure you're going all the way right up to your collarbones, because that's where it inserts or originates. I gotta brush up on that, it's one of the two. That is where it goes. So you gotta make sure you are really getting that contraction or you won't be working it. Mind Muscle Connection, great video for that down below. You'll see a lot of these um, yeah. topics and themes, they circulate. Yeah. Please it ties, sure. into, ties into most of our if videos. If you know these basics, you're gonna be a big boy. <laughs> you're gonna be All a right. big strong boy. Well, we'll get into the strength portion later. Anyways, so now my next tip for you, it kind of ties into Josh's contraction part. It's about keeping your head, um, head back. So a lot of people you see when they're doing chest movements will be going like this, but they'll lose the contraction, like was Josh was talking about, in their chest. When you actually keep your head back, I, I learned this from BPAC, a lot of you guys probably know that. You'll keep the contraction, which will help build, in this case, your upper chest. All right, we're gonna jump on into the lower. All right, so number one, uh, Josh talked about angling for upper chest, now I'm gonna talk about it for lower chest. So, upper chest, lower chest. Upper Man, chest. We're gonna start dance. Lower chest. 
I'm not gonna get it that into it too much. Guys, just get into a decline position and you'll be simple. able to fire up your lower chest. A lot of people ask us, how do you guys bring up your lower chest? What do I do? So here are your answers. Positioning is quick, very big. Quick tip, how do you turn a dip into a chest exercise? It's very simple. That angle, you're leaning forward, leaning forward. You're engaging that lower chest, and you're using your mind-muscle connection to squeeze that chest. Boom, we're bringing it all together here. Tip number two Sorry. of the lower chest segment is going to be to push away. Once again, if you're on a decline and you're out there and you got the leg thing 10 feet out and you're pushing back like this, what are you working, people? You're working your upper chest, you may be in a decline position. Ensure you might engage your lower part of your chest. Once again, you're not gonna be hitting your upper chest. A lot of it, although it is positioning, is to know how to push. Lower chest, you were pushing away. Upper chest, you were pushing forward a bit more. And normal bench press, you're about over where your nipples are and you're pushing forward. It's pretty simple in terms of that. But mind-muscle connection, people ask, how do I get mind-muscle connection? Pretty simply explained, you're just knowing what you're doing in the muscle you're working. Piece it together in your mind. I'm working lower chest. Boom, get that squeeze. And that's, also right gonna, that's also um, what I was about to talk about. I was just about to talk about getting that proper squeeze. My bad. That <laughs> contraction, um, which like we, we talk about mind-muscle connection a lot, but we found like since we've been incorporating it into our routines that we've seen significant gains. Josh is just doing some calf raises here, but you gotta make sure yeah. you're getting the proper squeeze, the proper isolation, the proper contraction, whatever you wanna call it. And decline, <laughs> <laughs> decline, um, the, the lower chest is a, a, something that a lot of people neglect because they think they can come in, like we said, for incline and do a bunch of bench press reps and that they're like fully isolating the lower chest. But if you're trying to actually put on some size um, and some width, or yeah, put on Whatever. some- Whatever, get a yeah, wide chest, that's, that Yeah, put a wide chest, yeah, I was gonna say. If you're trying to put on some size, like you guys gotta actually isolate the muscle properly. All right, so then we're gonna tie that up with lower. There's really good tips in the video. Uh, we didn't have too many thematic tips for you here, but those videos will break it down. We encourage you to watch each video segment because each video is a three exercises to understanding the muscle. So you can piece together an excellent strength, upper and lower chest workout just from adding these three exercises each and you're gonna have nine great exercises. You can use them and apply them to different things as well. Yep. So strength That brings time, us into the baby. strength time. We went over the size, now we're getting into the strength. This is an important one. Once again, this isn't a muscle. Strength, once again, correlates to size. Some people would disagree. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. If I'm lifting five pounds and I'm burning out after 10 reps, I'm not gonna be as big as my buddy over here who's got 300 pound dumbbells handcrafted at home. Who knows how we got them? And he's That's just me. curling. He's curling it out. This guy's got 300 pound dumbbells. Ronnie Coleman right here, what baby. You know? Yeah, buddy, lightweight. Full natty reps, <laughs> natty nation. So he's out there and he is actually using a heavier weight. You're benching, you learn to bench heavy, you're gonna be able to be able to incline press heavier. You're gonna be able to incline bench press heavier. You're gonna be able to fly heavier. You're gonna learn better fly. on discipline and other things. I don't wanna go forward into any other topics here that Kyle's gonna cover or anyone else's, but that's why you need to make sure you're implementing your strength programming. And within that, we've listed three amazing exercises that will skyrocket your bench press right up. I used to have trouble benching 185. See my arms, I'm lanky as crap. It's done 345. So I've hit 345 to chest. And, and he's uh, not a power lifter. That's a thing. And he looks good. Like, but we learned he's got a six pack. strength and size. That's their thing. Exactly. Kyle's talking about it. Um, so I'm going to go into programming. And this is something that I have a lot to say. We have our, our own thing. A lot of five people do five. five by five. Love it. Um, whether it's a five three one, you know, Wendler. Um, we'll make a video on this whether, more yeah, specifically. Whether it's a powerlifting routine, whatever, whatever routine you have, stick to your program. So I see like every couple days, every week, where people are just consistently going for PRs, 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 PRs every single day, and. In my opinion, if you're hitting a PR every single time, you're not going to be training properly. You're not going to be maximizing your strength, and you're just going to be trying to really lift your ego rather Plain than. Plain and simple, you're a yeah. yeah, like so we said. I mean, I see it all the time, and. We're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings here, but you got to be realistic, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all about programming. Like, you can go for PRs, but I'm just saying, I used to do the same thing where I used to always do it, you know, oh, I'm going to go for a PR this day, and like, in, at the end of the day, it's not really helping my actual strength increase. So, just something to think about. Very, very great point. Like, I, he hit it off the park. I'm just gonna jump into number three over here. Number, yeah, number three. Number three of the strength portion. Yeah. Sorry, we, we got ourselves a nice little index. We're gonna post that up for you. You can kind of link everything. 
Uh, but number three here is going to be stability. I made a great video with Adam Evans. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to watch that because you'll learn a lot. But uh, we had a buddy down, Bruce, from uh, Alabama, from Science Fitness. Hopefully all those videos are up before you see this. He's got a huge, man, that guy benches, like, he's taller than me, and he's benching easy. He is, like, 345 on the yeah. go. He made his bench, like, 20 sets or some crap. <laughs> we went but, from gym to gym benching. <laughs> it was nuts, but he's dipping like this, and he wastes a lot of time and energy trying to get that other side up. So I said, hey, man, you got to focus on some strength exercises. We had that with Adam Evans. Kyle made a joke video even about his pinning and lifting his legs. He was doing some funny things. We got a lot of benching tips and videos. But Bruce is going to show you great exercise with dumbbells that can really work on that stability. And that doesn't only apply to chest strength. You need to think of that antagonist and the other muscles that do work in the bench press. And things like having proper shoulder stability and proper tricep um, like size and strength definition between the two is very critical yeah. to having an effective bench press. Anyways guys, that wraps up our segment segment for um, improving your bench and putting on some size for your chest. Uh, be sure to check out all the videos that we link down below. Check it out on ColossusFitness.com. Um, we'll have it in our blog section. Alright guys, thank you so much. Um, now, I'm just going to quickly leave the fact, like Kyle said earlier, you need shoulders to look good with a big chest. Otherwise, you're just going to be hunched over like an idiot. You want that pull back and that width, that kind of great Superman-like appearance, that X-factor shape. Please check out our shoulder series. It's got three great videos with three exercises for all heads of the, the shoulders. So we got anterior, posterior, lateral. Really great uh, segment. I just want to quickly throw it your way. But thank you so much for checking this out. No funny guys on scooters today, but hope we really I learned was waiting a lot for from it. We, th we think something's, and something always happens down Especially when since we're outside. Colossus Fitness, checking out. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Let us know your favorite video. Maybe we'll pick someone to win a t-shirt. We'll see. Tank top. Swag. A couple. Give me two more.